Hello everyone, I'm back with a quick video update. I'm outside again, so I'm going to do this as quickly as possible because it's hot. Alright, so the first title I have for you guys is 30 Days of Night, Dark Days. Back. You have two vampires on the inside here. Right there. Nice little image there. Next up, get that one out of the way, we have The Final Destination. I'm, a, I'm kind of a big fan of this series, although I didn't like the third film all that much. And this one was uh, kind of on the short side. The one thing about this film is like it was originally shot in 3D, and usually when I watch these films that were shot in 3D, it doesn't really bother me that much. But this one, some of the deaths were designed to be shown in 3D, so that was a little bit annoying. They don't really work as well in, in 2D. Now this one in 30s at night I got uh, on sale at Blockbuster for two for ten dollars. Right. We have Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I got this um, used at the the superstore. It's a Canadian uh, grocery store. Every once in a while they get the used Blu-rays and DVDs in there. Nice inside artwork of Michael Myers there. Okay, and for our last Blu-ray, we have Centurion. I got this at Blockbuster, obviously. You can see the little crazy uh, Blockbuster case. They had a sale, 30% off, so I got this for $7, basically. This is a Neil Marshall film. I'm a big fan of his, like to The Descent. It's one of my favorite horror films of all time. Dog Soldiers, not even like that. Uh, was it uh, Doomsday? Couldn't think of the title. Not really a big fan of these uh, of these cases, though. This girl in this movie, she's a real badass. This movie is really bloody too. Um, you should check it out if you get a chance. Fans of gore will love this film. All right, now on to the uh, DVDs. Long Pigs. This one's kind of like a, a Blair Witch type film, but done uh, with a cannibalistic serial killer. So it's very similar to uh, Man Bites Dog. Alright. Now we have uh, Grindhouse. Uh, Grindhouse uh, in the U.S. was um, only released on Blu-ray. This is the Alliance release. And um, this is DVD. I got this before I got the Blu-ray player. I'm not going to upgrade because of the nature of the film and the way it was shot. The thing about this film, if you have the original releases, a lot of the special features are from the uh, the first two split releases, like uh, Planet Terror and uh, Death Proof. There isn't very much new added to this. It's just a little bit of stuff. And, uh, let me see if I can open this up here. There we go. I should switch hands, but... Come on. There. There we go. Let's see, uh... Now this one is the supplements for one of them, I can't really see which one. They don't really label them. Just this grindhouse. So one side is death proof, and the other side is uh, planet terror. And this is the movie side. They made it look like, a, like vinyl. And of course, this is this is French Canadian, really. So it's got French on this side. If I were to open it up, you'd see on the inside there. All right. Next up, we have. Smash Cut, starring uh, adult film star Sasha Gray. Um, I didn't really like this one too much. It was supposed to be like a homage to the Herschel Gordon Lewis movies, and I guess he has a cameo in it as well, but it wasn't really funny, and the gore wasn't very really good. Nice artwork, though. And Sasha Gray, of course, is gorgeous. 
Alright, next up we have Carved, uh, the Slit Mouth Woman. Actually, the title really should be the Slit Mouth Woman, but you know, for the uh, you know, for the Western release, they uh, went ahead and uh, added the Carved. This is a pretty cool film, kind of like The Grudge in the Ring, but with a woman there with scissors, kind of a ghost woman. Alright. Next we have Battle Royal Director's Cut. Now this I think is a bootleg, probably the kind that you get at the um, conventions um, because on the back it's got the English writing, there's no uh, Japanese or anything like that. But on the inside though, on the back of this disc, it does say Battle Royale right there. You can't really see it though. Not with this camera anyways. Alright, next we have Grotesque. I still have to watch this one and still haven't gotten around to it. Maybe when I have some more time I'll pop this one in. And last but not least we have Rec 2. I like this one. It's alright. I just didn't like the explanation for what was causing uh, the zombie outbreak. Um, I just watched the Quarantine sequel, and I thought that was just passable. But, um, but obviously they went in a different direction with their with their series. That's the inside there. So that's it, guys. Um, I'll probably do another video in a couple of days, hopefully, and I'll talk to you guys later.